Do you know about top 10 best hotels in Ireland? If no, this video is for you. So before starting this video, please like this video, do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Whether you dream of the complete castle experience, on-site archery, or just a cloud-like bed near Dublin, there's a hotel in Ireland for you here is the list of top 10 hotels in Ireland you need to know. 10. The Shelburne, Autograph Collection. More than just a hotel, the Shelburne holds a place in the heart of many Dubliners. One of the oldest hotels in the city, it has welcomed dignitaries from all over the world since opening in 1824, and its history is inescapable. The Irish Constitution was drafted in one of the upstairs rooms. Its beloved bar, number 27, is often referred to as Dublin's living room. The recently renovated rooms uphold tradition, with thick brocade curtains that block the morning sun, antique furniture, and beds with pillow-top mattresses and fluffy pillows. To stay at the Shelburne is to step back in time. It's luxurious, it's distinguished, and it's always worth a visit. 9. Clontarf Castle Hotel. For a trip to Dublin, Clontarf Castle Hotel has it all. Close to the city centre, the coastal suburb is a 10-minute drive away, check. Beautiful, comfortable, functional bedrooms, they're equipped with pillow-top mattresses and handmade Irish soap company toiletries, check. The only thing this haven doesn't have is Dublin's surplus of crowds. 8. Loch Eske Castle. Many castles have been spoiled by bland hotel makeovers, so it's a relief to see a stylish interior in this magnificent building, which dates from the 15th century and is surrounded by 43 woodland acres. The atmosphere is informal, you park your car, but a doorman will help with luggage, and the decor lavish without being intimidating. Friendly Irish staff are on hand to provide swift assistance. Most of the hotel's 97 rooms and suites are in a fine addition to the rear of the hotel, enjoying views of quiet gardens. Rooms are large but cozy, done in oatmeal hues and dark wood with huge beds, thick carpets, and coffee table books illustrating the fast-disappearing culture of the Gaeltacht. One can enjoy reading these while drinking organic Brazilian coffee. 7. Park Hotel Kenmare. Driving along the Ring of Kerry, a 111-mile circular route that carves through the Avera Peninsula, and you'll see some of Ireland's most impressive scenery and iconic landmarks. You'll find Park Hotel Kenmare right off this journey in the quaint town of Kenmare, where pink, green, and yellow painted storefronts, picturesque churches, and pubs abound. It was built in 1897, originally as a stopover for railway riders. Today, the classic five-star hotel is home to a destination spa and a fine dining institution offering an opulent tasting menu. Christmas time is a special affair. Each room has its own sparkling tree, a live band plays in the drawing room while guests dance, and get this, you don't even have to go near your oven. 6. The Lodge at Ashford Castle. Sitting within the magnificent 350 acres estate, the Lodge at Ashford Castle overlooks magical Loch Corrib. Here, modern luxury meets countryside coziness. Originally built in 1865, the lodge has every element of an elegant country house but manages never to feel stuffy or unapproachable. 5. Intercontinental Dublin. Formerly the Four Seasons, the Intercontinental Dublin is tucked away in the leafy, well-to-do district of Ballsbridge, just a 10-minute taxi ride from downtown Dublin. The place screams luxury the moment you step through the door and see crystal chandeliers and swaths of marble. Guests sit on navy armchairs and gold couches in the lobby lounge with glasses of wine or cups of tea and people watch. Even the entry-level rooms are ample and luxurious, with silky soft beds and the deepest of bathtubs. While you'll certainly be taken care of, you won't be bothered, which is refreshing. 4. Ballynahench Castle Hotel. Nestled in the heart of Connemara Betwin the seaside village's recess in Clifton is the three-story Ballynahench Castle Hotel. The 700-acre estate on which the manor sits is the stuff of Emerald Isle dreams. Rushy rivers and streams swimming with salmon and brown trout cut through the land. The shadow gray 12 Benz mountain range looms in the distance, and a freshwater lake borders the east edge of the premises. The bedrooms, foyer, and bar are cozy and comfortable, but Ballynahench Castle Hotel is no indoor retreat. This is where you stay to enjoy nature's offerings 
clay pigeon shooting, fly fishing, and guided forest rambles are just a few ways to do so. 3. Kilkea Castle. This castle is old, like, old, so old that an Anglo-Norman lord built it in 1180. Throughout the centuries that followed, many sirs, dukes, wizards, explorers, lords, and ladies passed through before it became a hotel in the early 1960s. Today, the Stony Estate is home to Kilkea Castle Estate and Golf Club. Set in Castledermot, Ha, on 180 acres of its own land, Kilkea overlooks Killishan Hills, a few minutes from the ancient Mullagreelan woods. The resort has 140 rooms, guests can choose to stay in a castle, carriage, or lodge room. The decor is rich with plum, crushed velvet upholstered cushy armchairs, swirling floral wallpaper, and sunny yellow light fixtures. Kilkea is more than a gorgeous hotel, though. It also offers golf, tennis, equestrian activities, falconry, archery, off-roading, whiskey and chocolate tasting, and fishing on the premises. 2. Ballyfin. Coote K. Coote goes the family motto of Sir Charles Coote, who built the opulent Ballyfin estate in the early 19th century. No matter the cost is how this loosely translates, proving as apt an adage in the 21st century as it was then. Many millions of euros may have been poured into this stately pile in Ireland's County Laos, both in its original construction and, more recently, its painstaking restoration. For a historian, the house is a head-turner, the Regency Mansion shows off modeled plasterwork, colorful scagliola, stained glass, and intricate parquetry. A hedonist's dream, it's a place of indulgence and grandeur, not least in the gold drawing room where walls are hung with silk and vast windows frame views of the 28-acre lake. New this year is Ballyfin's first standalone property, the tiny gardener's cottage, surely Ireland's ultimate love nest. The grounds are made for strolling in complimentary rain boots, there are grottos and rockeries, a folly and fernery, and a rose garden and aviary. There is no finer Irish country house experience. 1. The Westbury. From the second you walk into the Westbury and up the grand, bifurcated staircase, it's hard not to be impressed. Settle into a plush armchair for afternoon tea with views of Grafton Street, pull up a stool at the sidecar bar for a perfect martini, or book a table at Wild for dinner an impeccable restaurant with a 1930s feel. The Westbury is a classic Dublin city meeting place and ideal for a special occasion, you'll see guests celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, and other milestones. In December, the lobby is filled with folks taking a break from Christmas shopping nearby. The rooms and suites are tranquil and full of light, with large bathtubs and Irish art. You'll feel a welcoming embrace at every turn, the staff here is endearingly helpful, this is unbridled Irish luxury at its finest, and the service is always exemplary. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification before you go. Thank you for watching.